So we were at the procession last night. It was on at nine o'clock at night, which was a bit of a surprise for us. It was going from day until the dark. So that was quite a nice ambiance with the candles and the church was, our chapel was really beautiful. Locals had obviously made a big effort to dress it up. Nice flowers, the doll was looking well. We and George painted in the yard what we cleared. We were asked to do the film work and Jen was doing the photography. I hope we managed to do a good enough job of that. And yeah, it was a nice event. Community spirit, everybody was there. People are coming from other areas. It seemed like everybody knew everybody. From what I imagine it being like, I'm just from a little pit village in the northeast. Imagine what it would be like when my grandparents lived in the pit villages. Everybody knew everybody, there was a community spirit. It's nice to get engulfed in another country's culture. And even though we're not Catholics, it was very special to share as well. We are going down to the park to celebrate Jen's birthday. So we've just been prepping some salads, gonna get a little barbecue on the go. When we got back from our little duro trip, we were met by, or Jen was met by, an unreal present from George and the family. Do you want to show them your present? How nice. Little homemade jewellery box from George. Handmade, Handmade crafted. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a photo in that you can change. Show them the front. Let's just put a model in there for the time being from a magazine or something, but velvet bottom. So hinged. Lovely. So thoughtful. Mm. Barbecues in style. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little sangria. Ooh, premium. Mm. Splashing out, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you paid. Oh, that'll be right. This week's episode of Beautiful Little Things. Not what you were thinking. This tiny little bug. Look at that beautiful Is it in the fridge? patterns on the back. Yeah, it's in the fridge. It's about as close as I can get, I think. Lovely little bug. So after the little park gathering yesterday, the neighbours dropped off some of this bread which we told them that we really enjoyed. Almost like yellow in colour, but sweet bread. Tastes like raisins a little bit. Must guess the, mu I must get the recipe and try making it ourselves. Little garden update. Lettuce are getting near enough ready to pick. Some along the back there as well, that watermelon's struggling to get away but it's starting to get a little bit bigger than when we planted it. Beans along the front are ah, on one. Tomatoes, still quite small, these ones we planted a little bit before that. Starting to grow some extra foliage so I might have to get a upright poked in there for them to climb up sooner or later. These peppers are fairly new, but looks like they have taken, apart from this one that Bella lay right on top of and snapped. <laughs> and the potatoes here at the end, doing all right. It's quite shallow soil, I don't even think them will need earthen up. And these strawberries have took quite nicely. These squash seeds, I tried to germinate inside, I thought they'd failed. So I just put them in the dirt here and got two squash plants here that we'll see how they get on they normally need about a meter squared space but i'm just going to leave them this one's probably going to have its vines all over the path here eventually and yeah got some spinach over in the pot over here and fig tree still alive so hopefully get some foliage on that soon the other one died but get that one transplanted in one of them big pots after and also a couple of the avocado seeds have 
start to germinate as well so we might get a couple of avocado trees planted That'd be days On the tumble turns next. <laughs> uh, Bella, get your ball! Bella! Just moving that rock ready. Just gonna test out this little swimming area. Get the training going. And you can off the place, we're right here. Just move these big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Come on. Let's see a butterfly. Huh? Let's see a butterfly. It's a bit shallow for that. <laughs> have to do a few more <laughs> Birds of prey are circling. See you, man. Oh. Yes! Yeah. Oh, good catch, mate. Yeah. Good catch, buddy. Yeah! Leave it then. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. Zoom. Hans, catch. Oh. Oh, oh. Not so graceful. <laughs> So we've just come out of the medical centre, our local one in Slarico de Bayer. This yellow building behind us. Went to the reception and said that we needed to register for our SNS registration, which is the Portuguese National Health Service, I believe. And she asked for a number of documents. Yeah, passports. Uh, proof of address, so we had to take the form that we got from the president. Yeah, they actually took the hard copy of that, so we're going to have to get another one of them. <laughs> so, if you are to get your residency permit, you're going to need two of them because you're going to need an original for the medical centre and you're going to need an original for the D7 appointment in August. So, you'd actually need two of them documents. Uh, they actually have the, the stamp which embosses the piece of paper that it uh, is signed on. So you need one of them for each. Uh, what did you say? You also need a chance for the NIF, our um, fiscal number. Yeah, you need your fiscal number. Where if you're not a Portuguese resident or citizen, you don't need two NIFs, but she advised that Jen is going to need to get one soon anyway so maybe that would be something to do as soon as you get into Portugal anyway. Did you look at the contract of where we live? We give her the contract over but she didn't need that and she gave us that back and basically took photocopies, typed some stuff into the computer and then give us the forms that we needed for our appointment so she was very helpful, wasn't she? Was, she? she was, nice. she was nice. She spoke she a bit spoke, of English, so that helped she out. Did. She did, well. she spoke some English, so that that was good. And yeah, very helpful, another thing sorted. On to the next one. Another pastel de nada. You order them, not me. <laughs> trying a little peach iced tea. The loving iced tea out here. Peach. I'm gonna sure, get the sure. energy caffeine hit with the coffee. So, just been in what we're advised in the medical centre in the courthouse for Jen's NIF number, but apparently that's for Portuguese people only. And we went to the, where have we just been? The camera, the Fincas, the camera, basically the local council, and they advised that you need a fiscal representative for the NIF, which is what, what we had. Applied, we yeah, the through the lawyer. So we need to wait until after we have been approved for our second appointment at the SAF in Garda, and uh, until we can so apply we for Jen. No proof of residency, and the residence permit wasn't enough proof. No. You had to have something from the SAF as proof as your residence. So, so except with these uh, 
that we had inside the passport because it only it expired after five, four months. Yeah. Um, so basically, we're getting the medical side sorted, but now we need to get another <laughs> residence permit and we kind of get Jen's fiscal number until after our second appointment. So hopefully it's easy enough to get the, a second copy of the permit. Yeah, let's see. But now, let's enjoy these.